Hello Lake and Park families. I'm going to take you through the testing of the pH levels of our salmon tank right now. And what I've got here is a freshwater master test kit uh, that you can get at any type of pet store usually. And this will tell us the range of pH, ammonia, nitrate, and nitrite in our tank. But today we're just going to focus on pH and see what we get. And on the back of this thing I'm holding here, there's a scale with different colors that we're looking for to indicate what level of pH the water in our salmon tank uh, is currently at. So I'm gonna take a sample of water out and use this liquid that comes in the kit. It says right here on the bottle to add three drops of this liquid to the water and we'll see what color it changes, which will give us our level of pH, which is where it lies, our water lies on a scale from acidic, acidic to basic. Here we go. So you can see on this little tube here, there's a line and it says 5 milliliters. And that indicates where you want to fill this up to for the right amount of water to solution ratio in order to get an accurate reading on your test. I'm wearing gloves and goggles because the solution is made of chemicals. And so we want to be extra safe about that. Remember, it's three drops. I'm going to be really careful to just put three in. That's one, two, and three. Put the cap back on this. Give it a very gentle shake. And pretty quickly, we're going to be able to get this reading. Some of the tests you want to let the water sit for a while, uh, up to five minutes to get an accurate reading. But with the pH test kit, it is uh, accurate pretty quickly. And on this pH scale, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but for this test, it goes between six and 7.6 pH. And six looks kind of yellow, and 7.6 looks kind of blue. And in between there's shades of green. And what I'm looking at here with our pH looks somewhere right in the middle of that, which is good. Um, right now we're looking at about 6.6 .6 pH. 6.6 .6 pH, which is right in the range of a healthy number for our tank to be in. So that's really good. Now I'm going to do a water change on the tank to help keep the water clean and uh, make sure that these numbers stay really good. And perhaps in another video I'll talk about ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate or do another post on Google Classrooms uh, about one of those things as well. So we'll see you next time.